Hello. In today's video, we'll delve into the power of diversification of your passive uh, real estate investment portfolio. So in, one of uh, the common questions that I get asked from my clients is, I've been investing in apartment complexes in, let's say, Texas uh, for a while. I want to diversify my portfolio, so I'm now going to look for apartment complexes in Arizona or Florida to invest in, in order to diversify my portfolio. And my answer to this question is, you may look in uh, those other states to diversify your portfolio, but diversifying your portfolio geographically, it's not the extent of diversification. You can continue diversifying your portfolio by two other methods. One of them is diversifying it, investing in other real estate asset types, such as, for example, mobile home parks or retail, shopping plazas, medical offices, flex space, and so forth. There are many other real estate asset classes that you can invest in and continue diversifying your portfolio. And the third way to diversify it is by investing in different uh, real estate investment strategies. So the most common one that many people uh, have heard of and familiar with is value add strategy, which essentially entails that you invest in the existing prop property that the operator will buy and then reposition, improve, force appreciation and make this property look better so they can generate higher rents regardless whether it's a shopping plaza, flex space, or an apartment building, you can do it with any real estate asset class. So value add is number one. Uh, aside from that, you can also invest in construction. Construction is typically more risky because you don't have existing assets, so don't expect to receive immediate income. You typically need to wait from 18 months to two years or longer until the property is built to start receiving income or to see the property sold and receive the appreciation from you know what's been built on the land and now is a property to be sold. And then there are uh, less risky strategies such as core and core plus. They're typically good for investors that are looking for uh, purely asset and capital preservation. So if you want capital preservation, core and core plus strategies allow to generate usually anywhere between 4 to 6% in general, but they are much less risky than, let's say, value adds. And of course, much ri less risky than new construction as well. So to summarize, there are three ways to diversify your real estate investment portfolio. Number one is by investing in different geography. Number two is by investing in different real estate asset types. And number three is by investing in different real estate investment strategies. Please share your questions below.